Most biopics or films made about a celebrity's life come out after their death. This is true of Bohemian Rhapsody for Freddie Mercury and Elvis, which honored Elvis Presley. It's a bit more difficult when the subject of the film is still alive. The Blind Side, released in 2009, followed Michael Ower's journey from high school football to the NFL. When he saw it, he wasn't impressed by how much it got wrong. Keep watching to learn why Michael Ower bashed The Blind Side. The Blind Side was based on Michael Lewis's 2006 The Blind Side Evolution of a Game. It wasn't written specifically about Michael Ower, but Michael still managed to stick out and became the center of the film based on it. The movie starred Quentin Aaron as Michael Ower, Sandra Bullock as his adoptive mother, Leanne Tui, and Tim McGraw as Sean Tui. He spends the night with the Tui family until trying to return home, and unfortunately he had nowhere to go because his mother was struggling with drug addiction, and there was an eviction notice on his door. Michael brought his grades up with help from a tutor and became a football star. The Tuies brought him into their home and adopted him. He signed to play college football at University of Mississippi and in 2009 was drafted into the NFL, playing for the Baltimore Ravens. The Blind Side was a commercial success that broke box office records, earning $300 million. It won over audiences with its inspirational message and won Sandra Bullock an Academy Award nomination for her acting. Michael's Criticisms One of the few audience members who didn't like The Blind Side was Michael Lower himself. He told ESPN it negatively affected his football career. He also had major issues with the film itself and how much it differed from reality. The problems ranged from small details to major changes that didn't match what actually happened. He tried to let the world know the truth about it in his 2011 book, I Beat the Odds. There was plenty to untangle. Life prior to the Tuies The hard early life Michael faced in the film was real. He was born in 1986 when the crack cocaine epidemic was at its peak. He did have a drug-addicted mother named Denise and a father in prison. He also had 11 brothers and sisters who had to face that difficult time with him. They weren't mentioned in the film. The family struggled, but unlike in the film, they weren't completely homeless. They ended up bouncing between foster families and friends' couches by the time he was in first grade. He attended nine different schools in 11 years until he was 15. The Blind Side kept most of these details but changed how he and the Tuies met. It shows a cinematic scene where they meet him soaked in the rain and immediately decide to take him in. In the film, Mike first met Sean when they were attending one of his daughter's volleyball games. The boy kept to the side and was cleaning up trash. In reality, Sean intentionally went to the school to see Mike, see if he had talent, and make sure he had enough money for lunch. The adoption process of making him a permanent part of their family was also much slower in reality. It takes at least six months to adopt a child that's not already in your care as a foster child. In certain cases, it can take over a year. Changing his personality Quentin Aaron played Michael Ower in the film. Michael didn't have issues with his acting skills, but he did have an issue with the way Quentin played him as an introverted and passive boy who always stays by himself. The real Michael Ower describes himself as more of an extrovert and a leader. He may be silent at times, but the football field is his comfort zone. It's the place he can let go and push forward with energy and a smile on his face. This massive change of personality in the film may have helped gain sympathy from the audience, but understandably, Michael didn't appreciate it. He didn't need to be taught to play. Michael didn't like how the blind side portrayed him as dumb instead of a kid who never had consistent academic instruction and ended up thriving once he got it. He may have not have been a perfect student, but he didn't need to be taught how to play football. A football coach named Tony Henderson began helping him before he ever met the Tuies. He enrolled his son at a local school and took him along. That's where Michael got his education. He also learned about other sports like track and basketball. The blind side shows the Tuies teaching him how to play football. He never understood why the director showed them explaining blocking or moving around ketchup bottles or any other ways to learn the basics. Perhaps the change was a way to deepen the audience's connection between the character and his found family. But it was one of Michael's main hang-ups with the film. Historical Problems Keeping all the historical aspects of any story is difficult, and The Blind Side got a few major details wrong. They didn't properly tell the story of what happened when Michael entered the football recruitment office. 
The film shows Tom Lemming finding Michael's DVD. It was on top of a magazine with Bryce Brown on the cover. If The Blind Side actually takes place in 2003 and 2004, that couldn't be possible. Bryce Brown was 12 at that point. That magazine didn't arrive till 2009. There were other historical issues as well. Sean Tui is shown using the Safari browser on a Windows operating system. It wasn't released until 2007. The model of the car Leanne drives, a BMW 750L1, wasn't available until 2006. Toning down racial issues Casting was never a problem when it came to keeping the blind side's southern roots. Sandra Bullock is a well-known Southern actress, and Tim McGraw is one of country music's biggest names. The problem was that the film toned down the racial issues in Michael's true story. It only mentioned them vaguely, such as when Sean confesses he's surprised to have an African-American son and when a teammate teases Michael on the field. The real racism in Michael's story was much more difficult to handle. What was true was that Leanne helped them through all of them. She always told the bullies and bigots to mind their business. Confidentiality problems The right access to school records applies only to legal guardians or those with power of attorney. A scene in The Blind Side seems to have forgotten that. Leanne is unable to access all of Michael's school records from Wingate Christian School before she's legally adopted him. The social worker there hands them over with no issues. This would never happen in any real school, especially not today when confidentiality of private records is more important than ever. How the film affected his career Michael could create a large list of struggles with specific, small aspects of the movie, but a more important issue for him was the impact it had on the football career he'd worked so hard for. He had a short but successful football run. He won the 2013 Super Bowl as a starter for the Ravens and played in another Super Bowl in 2016. He even came in second in voting for Rookie of the Year. He earned $35 million throughout his career, and he stayed in the NFL for eight years until being let go by the Carolina Panthers due to post-concussion syndrome. He said the blind side continued to overshadow him until the end of his career. It downgraded him and kept the world from seeing his skills because they made assumptions about him based on it. That's the most important reason he didn't like it and is the first one he'll mention in any interviews. Responses to the Criticism Michael gained a family through football and friends through the blind side. He and the Tui family still stay in touch with Sandra Bullock, and she's attended a few of his games. Quentin Aaron, who played Michael in the blind side, had only worked as a bodyguard before but was chosen primarily because he and the football star have a similar build. Quentin supports Michael but hasn't stayed on the sidelines like the other stars. He's offered his own response to what the former lineman has to say about the film. He encourages Michael to focus on the positive effect the blind side has had on the world and how it's inspired others. He also says he should forget about what others say to criticize him or how it affected his career. Quentin reminded Michael he ended up a famous millionaire Super Bowl champion with loving family, friends, and teammates. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you a fan of The Blind Side? Did you know that it didn't depict things exactly as they happened? Let us know in the comments section below.